Hello, Edelgard. Everyone is festive, aren't they? Such a festive mood. <laughs> I feel a bit out of my element here. Oh, not used to festivities. I can't help but worry something might happen while we're all distracted. After all, our enemies are always plotting. True, but I mean, you can't let it get in the way of having fun. Still, this air of levity is much more agreeable than the grim atmosphere of late. Very true. All right, Edelgard. So I see. There you are. Legend has it that long ago, a female student from the academy met with a mysterious man at the Goddess Tower. Oh, really? And what does legend say happened? They fell in love at first sight and were bound together forever after. But that's not the really interesting part. Ooh, juicy. The incredible part is that the man was apparently the Adrestian Emperor himself. Okay, that is a... That actually is a little interesting. I wonder if it's true. Oh, what I wouldn't give to fall in love at first sight with a splendid and powerful gentleman. I want my own fairy tale romance, and I want it now. I'm go wait around the Goddess Tower and uh, see if that happens. Nope. Oh, I'm, I hate to say it, but they are true. The rumor is about Tomas. It really is a shame. All right, let's start with uh, Hilda. It's almost time for the ball. Oh my, am <laughs> I excited? Glad to see you get excited for this, Hilda. This being a school, we don't have many chances to get dressy. Ah yes, I look forward to seeing uh, what you uh, what you wear. Right. Hello, Ignatz. Some scary things have been happening lately. I hope that this month, of all months, is peaceful. We will never have a completely peaceful month, Ignatz. It wouldn't be a Fire Emblem game if we did. The ball is coming up and everything? Although I'm not much of a dancer, actually. Don't have any happy feet? I'm sure you'll do fine. Maybe you and, uh, Flane? Huh? Huh? Or... Maybe someone else? Mild stomach poison. Claude. Oh, hello, Lysithia. It's true that Tomas was employed here under the recommendation of House Ordelia. I knew it was your house. But that's all I know of the topic. I'd never even seen him prior to enrolling here. Hmm. Even when he was supposedly in Ordelia territory, I never once saw him there. Interesting. I'm still feeling bothered by all of this, but there's not much else I can say about it right now. It's okay, Lysithia. I mean, it's not your job to be up to date on literally everything happening within House Ordila. You're only, what are you now, 13, 15? I forget. I think 15. Someday it will be, but not yet. Ah, Lorenz, how you doing? The long-awaited ball. Finally an opportunity to showcase my exquisite skills on the dance floor. You know, for once, I actually kind of believe you might actually have, uh, dancing skills. These skills were ingrained in me when I was a boy. My hands and feet move on pure instinct. Oh, yeah, I believe you. It just seems like your kind of thing. Being all noble and elegant and... Regal. Hmm. Hello, Dorothea. Can the village ever be the same? Uh, eventually, someday. I wonder if Remire Village will ever be the same again. How do you recover from such a terrible event? A lot of hard work and willpower from the people. So many dead. So much destroyed. I can't see how the whole village doesn't just end up abandoned. I mean... Where else would they go? Take care, Dorothea. Don't worry about it too hard. The most important conversation. How are you doing today, Bernie? The ball. A grim reminder.
reminder of my sad reality. Not bad, huh? The other nobles will be fine, I'm sure. They've all been to events like this before. Oh, Bernie. Do you want to go? I won't force you. But me? I'm a noble, and I've never even been close to one of these things. Is, uh, do you need a partner? I'll dance with you. But only if you want to. Well, ooh. Happy upcoming birthday. Howdy, Mercedes. Oh, now where did that Ingrid run off to? Oh, flying around. Well, soon, and she hadn't even put on any makeup. I was trying to help her out. <laughs> oh, I never realized this was Lysithia's room, but it just told me. I should probably not, uh, snoop around too much. Hello, Manuela. You have a quest for me, it looks like? Great. Just great. It's that time when all the students get all lovey-dovey. Uh, jealous are we, Manuela? You're new, but you know about the ball, yeah? I've heard of it. I can't bear it. Young love is wasted on the young. They can't appreciate it That's why it's, it's called young love, Manuela. Oh, I wish I could fall in love, too. Well, start by cleaning up your room, and then you never know. Let's see. No uh, quest from you. Well, while we're here, let's go ahead and garden. First, we have to harvest. Five forget-me-nots. Some roses... And anemone. I grew anemones? Huh. Let's see. Oh, that's the uh, last pale blue flower seed. Get the last white flower seed. And let's, um. Ooh, my. Five star. I'm not gonna waste that until I'm ready to do max cultivation. For now, we'll stick with them. Um, oh, I don't know. Purple. And green. There we are. And cultivate. Um. Let's go ahead and do prune. Actually, hold on. Yeah, I'll do prune. Alright, gardener. I'll see you later. Hello, Alois. Ah, the ball. It reminds me of how I met my wife. Oh, really? I was at a village's harvest festival. There was a full moon, bathing everything in its cool glow. That's kind of poetic way to word that. She appeared out of nowhere, dancing gracefully in the moonlight. A lovely fairy. <laughs> That's a wonderful story. We soon fell in love and tied the knot. Now we have a daughter who's as bright and beautiful as a sunny morning. Man, it's good to see you're such a nice family man. Though it makes that, uh, like I think someone had mentioned, makes that, um, person who's pursuing you with a love letter and all that a little bit more awkward. So, whenever I see people dancing, I think of my wife, and my heart does a little waltz. How sweet. <laughs> I'll see you later, Eloise. She, hold on. Okay, I can't recruit him or anything. Linhart. You know, Professor, I used to think I would be comfortable with all manner of experiments, so long as they provided usable results. Oh. But when I heard of Solon's work, well, I realized I'd not considered the moral and philosophical limits of what all manner of experiments might mean. Yeah, it's, um... 
there's always got to be some limitations. You just, I, I feel like, uh, you know, not testing your mind-altering drug on a village, an unwitting village, is uh, a good place to start drawing boundaries and all that. Sorry, I'm not great with blood. Even when I'm just thinking about it, I feel a bit ill now. It's okay. There wasn't really that much blood. Well, it's just zombies. Huh? Your class. However, I still needs more magic and reason. And it's fishing time. Yes, I would like to fish. We'll do um some pond snails. Oh yeah, still got it. But also not what I'm looking for. Ooh, nice. Three for one. All right, here we go. Giant shadowfish. Fuck. So close. Queen loach. A couple of them. I actually don't know if that was this month's fishing event or not. Or even if there is a fishing event today, I'm not sure. I see, it's just an uh, event where um, you get a lot of fish at a time. That explains a few things. Alright, that's enough fishing for now. As weird as it is to say those words. It's a little fishing. But we have other things to do, like talking to students and professors and knights. And Mr. Gatekeeper, how is it going? Anything to report? Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Very good. Ah, other than the legend of the goddess tower, of course. Of course. You heard the students talking about it? At least one. On the last night of the ethereal moon, on the same night as the ball, if a man and a woman go to the goddess tower and make a wish, it's sure to come true. I have a wish, but I can't find anybody to make it with me. Aww. I'll go make your wish with you, gatekeeper. Is there someone I feel that way about? Huh. This feels like an important decision. Well, Claude is the obvious choice here. I... <laughs> as fun as it would be to romance Raphael. Um... Dorothy is another possibility. I'm more interested in seeing her and, uh... Some of the other characters, maybe like Sylvain... Developing. I think I'll go with Claude for now. Claude comes to mind. Probably doesn't actually make a difference. Probably just, uh... Telling me who I can or cannot go with. Too bad I can't go with Gatekeeper. Hello, Dorte. Talking to student. I've been thinking of inviting a girl from a different house to the Goddess Tower on the night of the ball. Okay, what's the issue? But here's the twist. She's from a family with a much more significant and storied past than mine. Oh, don't worry about it. Just go for it. <sighs> I wonder if she'd ever stoop to going out with the humble son of a knight. Oh, one way to find out. Oh, hello, Sylvain. Where's that one, Dorte? I don't actually know. Great work in Remyer Village, Professor. Who would have ever guessed it was Tomas? Probably just about everybody. Unfortunately. Ah, uh, but no. Now isn't the time to get lost in gloomy thoughts. It kind of foreshadowed it, uh... Very hard. Alright, Sylvain. Oh, hey, Ingrid, um, Manuela's looking for you. Mercedes locked me in her room for hours earlier. Did she now? She was slathering pounds of makeup onto my face, saying something or other about the ball. It really wore me out. Like literal pounds or... Damn. You know, I could, uh... Mercedes locked me in her... She was slapped. Hi, Professor. I've actually got plans. I, so I just want to know, uh, what are you looking for? Dexterity and flying. 
Shoot. Yeah, that's too bad. Oh, hey, Casper. I can't believe this. I'm so angry right now. What? First it's the Death Knight, and now Tomas, but neither of them are in custody. Oh, yeah. I mean, they teleport. I don't think, um... Unless we have anti-teleportation measures, I'm not sure we could even hold them if we wanted to. I can't stand the thought of such evil lurking in the world. We have to do something about this. I have to do something about this. Well, don't get too far ahead of yourself, Casper. The Death Knight would destroy you. It probably so would, uh, Solon. Ah, Gilbert. I was looking for you. It cannot be true that our siblings in arms could turn against us so. However, I will continue investigating members of the church. Okay. To think that even someone as senior as Tomas would fall under suspicion. I know, right? I know not how far to take my search. Right on up to Lady Rhea. Even the knights. Unlike the monks, the knights of Seros are Lady Rhea's direct subordinates. Some are in quite unique circumstances, but I cannot think any of them would betray us. Hmm. It's hopefully I not. Have a request. Um. Find a wood carving book. Okay. I'll try and find one. It cannot be true. Hello, Dimitri and Dedu. Even though there is to be a ball, we still have a mission. It would be nice if this month passed by in peace. Yeah. It seems the dastards who set Ramire village aflame have yet to be apprehended. Monsters. Trampling mercilessly over innocent lives. They deserve a gruesome end. I mean, they do. But, um... I know I'm just not a big fan of the whole gruesome part. Though, it is pretty fucked what they did. So maybe. Oh, hey. Speaking of wood carving. Hello, Petra. Dancing a Fodlin is not the same as dancing from Bridget. The reason is maybe that the music has many differences. I mean, that'll typically do it. In Bridget, dancing is different for each person. Our dancing has vigor and ferocity. There is no speech of technique for our dancing. Is Bridget West or East? Or is... Woodworking? This is not belonging to- Damn. Ah, the ball. It reminds me of my first such event back in the Imperial Capital. Oh? It was held by my father, the Prime Minister. I really showed off my dancing skills. Everyone was quite impressed with me. Really now? You, I definitely believe, can dance. Hello, Raphael. Looking at things to uh, pick up and put back down repeatedly to train. The ball is coming up soon. I am so excited. Oh, you dance? I can't wait to oh, fill of up course. my food while everyone's dancing. I even heard there'll be some prime cuts of meat. I hope so. Well, I'll meet you at the table, Raphael. I see that support over here. Professor. Oh, hey, Alois. Hello, Professor. You're really on the move today. A lot to get done, I take it? Always. I mean, life of a professor is a busy life. I'm happy to help. Uh, tell me, is there anything I could do to lighten your load a bit? Hmm. How good are you at grading? I appreciate the offer, but... Oh, surely there must be something. Don't be shy about asking for help. Grading. 
We're practically siblings after all. Cut from the same cloth. I mean, I don't know if I'd go that far. You served under my dad, sure, but... I was raised by Gerald just as you were, so we should have no trouble getting along. Okay, maybe. You were raised by Gerald? Huh? <laughs> Did I not mention that? How thoughtless. What an embarrassing gaffe. I don't think you mentioned it. My parents died when I was small, and I came to live in the monastery. Oh? It was an aimless existence. But sometimes, a knight would pass by, wearing magnificent armor. And it was Gerald. That knight was Gerald. And the first time he laid eyes on me, he made me his squire. What was he thinking, huh? I'm sure he came to regret that decision very quickly. Sounds like Gerald. <laughs> no kidding. I don't think I'll ever fully understand his logic. Later, I heard that the squire preceding me had died of a terrible plague. Oh, God. <laughs> I looked a bit like him and was about the same age, so Gerald thought me a suitable replacement. Hopefully not, uh, well, thankfully you did not meet the same fate. A little nutty, old Gerald, there's no doubt about that. Quite a character. All that was more than 30 years ago. How time flies. 30 years? Do you know his age? Actually, I'm not entirely sure. You never asked him? Yeah, I mean, myself, my dad, Flane. We're all the little bundles of uh, unknown ages. Well, Gerald hardly seems to have aged since then. In fact, over drinks he once told me... Uh, <laughs> Perhaps that's a story for another day. Damn it. Day. I want to hear this story. At any rate, that's Gerald for you. One of a kind. I don't think there's anyone else quite like him. Well, I mean, Leone, if she has anything to say about it. Yeah, probably not. Right. Well, now you've heard my whole story. I mean... I still want to hear the tale about the bar. I hope that you understand now why I feel such a strong sense of attachment to you. <laughs> I appreciate it, Alois. If you're ever in a bind, just give me a holler. I'll help however I can. Of course. Thanks for offering. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> well, I'll uh, let you get back to it. Thank you, Alois. But truly, if I can take anything off your plate, don't hesitate to let me know. Of course. He's a good guy. Hello, Catherine. The area with the old chapel was supposed to be off limits. Right. It was at risk of collapse, so they didn't even post guards. It's not too strange. For some reason, someone is breaking into it. Does that surprise you? Meh. Garrick Mock has lots of places that are blocked off for one reason or another. I found that, yeah. I don't know if there's any left that I can't get into yet. That's true of the underground Holy Mausoleum, as well as the Northern Woods. I mean, to be fair, the mausoleum had a holy relic in it. People call it the Sealed Forest, but as far as I can tell, it's nothing special. Just a forest. <laughs> yeah. Though, probably best not to go there. Hey. Hello, Knight of Seros. This is a rare opportunity to enjoy yourself. Please, leave everything else to us. The Meyer Village incident, the search for Tomas, we have it handled. Uh, okay. I'm happy. I'll take the opportunity to just rest. You just focus on enjoying the ball with your students. Will do. It's for the good of everyone, don't you think? If the professors walk around in a state of distress, the students will be uneasy too. Ain't that the truth. Alrighty. Oh. What the? Little girl? <sighs> you lost? Our life in Ramire Village is gone. Oh. Father and mother, gone. God damn it. Why couldn't you have arrived just a little sooner? I don't know. Damn it. He's just standing there. It makes it even more tragic. God. Moving on. 
big spoon. Mm, bonding bites. Bring students and professors together. Effects are enhanced when dining with students from your own house. Sounds good to me. Let's go with Bernie. And... Marianne or Hilda? Which one of them have support together? None of them. Damn. Well, Marion and Hilda do, though. But, um... I suppose that's fine. Food tastes better when I get to share it with you. Aw, thank you. I feel the same. Let's fill up so that we feel good and energized. It looks good. Like a lasagna almost with peas in it on the top. Oh, hey, Leone. How's it going? I'm glad the Remeyer Village situation got sorted out. But it's not over yet, is it? Hmm. Not until Tomas is found. But I can't believe old Tomas turned out to be an enemy. Who can you trust anymore? You can trust me. And each other. Hopefully. Hello, Claude. How's it going? Someone entered the old chapel. I think the townsfolk used it for feasts and such in the past. Hmm. With that whole Tomas business, you can't blame the church for being on edge. Hopefully it's nothing too serious. Who's this over here? Oh, Annette. Librarian was a bad guy, but he always seems so nice. I know. Oh, come on, self, you're better than this. You promised you'd be on top of things this month. <laughs> Annette is another sweetie. I see someone this way. Oh, this way. Come now. Ah, Hubert. Another month full of chaos. I barely had time to catch my breath. Indeed. What is the objective of Tomas and his ilk? I don't know what Tomas's objective is. Flame Emperor is probably is world domination of some variety. And what makes Flame so special? Does that not bother you? I mean, not really. Hanneman said her blood was a bit special. Though he also said it wasn't worth them. Um, Being nefarious over. <sighs> There's a certain gentleman I'd like to invite to a rendezvous at the Goddess Tower. Do it. However, I can't imagine he'd be interested in a sheltered ingenue like myself. No. <sighs> it's hard to pluck up the courage when that's where my thoughts always take me. Don't tell me it's the guy. Who... The two of you are too. Uh... Neither of you is going to ask the other. Yes, you must be brave. Ask. Do it. Who are you? Oh, just a priest. This cat is always sitting in front of this grave. I wonder if it was a... a family. It'd be the owner. It's tragic. Poor kitty. Imagine you have to be really important, though, to get into this cemetery, considering how limited it is. Hello, monk. What happened in Ramire was indescribable. Oh, I can describe it very well. Zombie apocalypse. The whole village burned to the ground. So many were left without even a home to return to. It is tragic, though. Thankfully, Her Grace the Archbishop has invited those who lost everything to stay at Garrig Mach. It is good of her. I pray that they will be able to return to their once peaceful lives as soon as possible. Oh, that poor little girl, though. Until that day, we of the church must join together and do all that we can to help them rebuild. Of course. All right. Mm, counselor time. One note. 
Let's see. Oh, it's Bernie. I want to be able to enjoy my hobbies, but there's not enough time when I have to wait for everyone to go to bed and clear out the common areas. Why don't you have a uh, think of a hobby everyone can do together? Uh, I'm sorry. That sounds like an impossible situation. <laughs> Yeah. I would tell her to uh, find one to do together, but that is not what Bernie wants to hear. Not at all. Hello, um, Hello Marianne. The ball? Um, I don't think I'll partake. No, it's too bad, but I understand. Oh, hey, Flane. <laughs> I can feel my heart I know you would be excited for this. I I have never danced in front of people before. Not even once in all my life. Ah, uh, just have fun with it. I am very much looking forward to it. I'm glad. Ah, uh, yes. Saint Macul statue maxed out. We can start on some of these others. Let's see. Lance and Faith, not really what we need. Axe and Flying, and Authority, not really what we need. Oh, also Strength and Speed at the end. I can Charisma at the end. And then Bow and Brawling and Heavy Armor. Dex and Resistance at the end. I'm not sure which one I want the most now. Sethleen, maybe? That one's interesting. Class experience plus one. I wonder what that does. But, um... I think this one makes the most sense for the next one. Brawling and bow aren't exactly... I mean, heavy armor could be useful, but, um... Brawling and bow aren't particularly useful to me. I don't think. Is this one? Yes, this one. You're all set. Wonderful. Is this one? You're all and set. And plus five percent experience. Is this one? You're all Excellent. set. Looking better already. Soon. Still a long ways to go, though, before we have it fully restored. And Ash. <laughs> Last month was, well, you know even better than I do. I hope this one will be more cheerful. I do too. Let's just enjoy the ball, and deal with hopefully what are just hoodlums. This ball, though, I don't know. It it's all new to me. You know, people, little kids, uh, just messing about breaking into places would be much better than some nefarious scheme. Man, these are brave cats. Or is this the dog their leader, perhaps? Circle of cat. He's got good self-restraint. Or he's just the cats aren't responding how he wants. He's like, come on, you're supposed to run. There is a glowing thing here. Right here. Oh! It is, it, uh, it is from Bridget, the woodworking. Perfect. Thank you for telling me, game, where to find it. Gilbert, I have it here for you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Second floor dormitory time. Where are these rooms? Oh yeah. Oh, it's Marianne's room. Oh, that's cool. I wonder what some. Uh, wonder what the students have to do to get uh, 
the outdoors rooms versus the indoors rooms. I love how they actually have a room for everybody. Hmm. <laughs> Claude's room is much more noticeably a mess than anyone else's. Books strewn about. Guess he's searching for the information he's always searching for. Dimitri, on the other hand, has a wonderfully made bed and everything. Alrighty. Let's see. Talk to Lady Rhea. <laughs> Before the ball, it is customary that we host a competition of dance known as the White Heron Cup. Okay. The students are quite fond of this tradition. Sounds like fun. Each house must select a representative to compete. Their dance shall be judged by its beauty, grace, and technique. Okay. The student who is deemed the winner will be given the opportunity to train as a dancer, should they so please. Awesome. It is a very precious thing, the gift of dance. I hope that you and your students will choose Absolutely. Who I don't know, but... May I ask a favor of you? Yes, to select a student to represent your house by the end of week two. Uh, your selected student may learn a unique way to inspire their allies in combat. Okay. I'm not sure who I'll, how I'm going to decide what, um, what traits are they looking for. Who should I uh, train? My faith up to rank C, or maybe um, my reason. Of course, my uh, I'm behind on my swordsmanship. Yeah, let's get a kickstart getting to A rank in swordsmanship. Oh, hello, Seteth. I have looked into Tomas, but I just cannot make sense of this at all. I know, right? From his behavior up until now, I never would have suspected that a man like him could turn on us. It's, he really played the long game. I have also discovered that his appearance has changed. That too. It is almost as if he is not even human. What in the world is going on? Uh, demonic invasion? Once again, let's go ahead and, um, train up our swordsmanship. Sup, Hanuman? Gerig Mark Monastery is said to have been completed during the ethereal move. So I've heard. Why, 995 years wow. ago, as a matter of fact. That's rather a long time ago, don't you think? It is. I'm surprised it's held up this nice. Every year, a ball is held to celebrate the founding. And every 100 years, a very special celebration takes place. Which is in five years from now? It's a grand festival involving all of Gerig Mark. It is thrilling to read of past festivals. And I'm rather excited to experience one for myself. Yeah, except for very unlucky people. Uh, it sounds like most get to enjoy once, one, once per, per life. Once in a lifetime, eh? The next one in five years will mark a millennium. Should be quite an event. Do you imagine you'll still be here teaching then? I don't know. Hopefully nothing bad happens, but uh, something tells me something bad will happen. Oh, hello, Cyril. Nah, Tomas wouldn't betray the church. I don't believe it. I won't believe it. Well, believe it. There's some people in the church who hate people like me who are from Elmira, but Tomas was always real kind. He was. It seems to have been part of his act. But if he really was Lady Rhea's enemy, well, I'd defend her against anybody, no matter how kind they'd been in the oh, past. Oh, yes. I am very well aware of just how uh, devoted you are to her. Hmm... The library just isn't quite the same without him. Could I trouble you? No, it's okay. 
Oh, now everyone wants to speak again. Probably about choosing who to dance. I wonder if Remire have so many dead. I'm sorry, Professor. I'm talking about such grim and terrible things when we could be talking about the White Heron yep. Cup. It's a big dance contest between the classes, and I simply adore dancing. I'm quite good at it, since I was a diva in an opera company. Yeah, I was really uh, strongly considering choosing you for, because of that. Should I talk to everyone else first, though? What? Why not me? <laughs> oh, whatever. It's a big dance contest between the classes. Okay, good. I, I can still choose her. What? I was worried about that for a second. I'll uh, talk to some other people first, though, and then decide. Ooh, Bernie. Of all, the other nobles will be but me. I mean, what is a one yes. cup anyway? What? A dance competition? Oh, Bernie. That's we need a representative for our class. Please, anyone but Bernie. <gasps> oh my God. No, I'm not going to choose you, Bernie, but as fun as that would be, I'm not that cruel. Oh, what a relief. Thank you so much, Professor. You're welcome, Bernie. <laughs> I really do want to see that, though, but I won't do that to her. I couldn't do that to her. Not in a million years. You're not a student, Manuela. Great. Just great. You're new. I can't bear it. Oh, speaking of the ball, Professor, have you selected your representative for the dance contest yet? No. If you don't, the contest will go on without your house, and that would be embarrassing. Hey. Hello, Sylvain. Great work in Remire Village, Professor. Ah, but no. The ball is almost here, and the White Heron Cup dance contest. Yes. So, Professor, who will be representing our class? Uh, no. I get it. No worries, really. I'd rather see a beautiful person dancing instead of some goof like <laughs> it's me. It's okay. Oh my. <laughs> Out of the way, buddy. The ball is coming up soon. I am so... I can't... Apparently, there's supposed to be a dance contest, too. I think it's called the White Heron Cup. Who's going to represent our class? I can do it if you haven't picked someone That's else. That's okay, Raphael. Oh, really? I may not look it, but I'm actually a pretty good dancer. I believe you, but it's probably going to be Dorothea. Honestly. Yeah. I'm glad the Remire Village, and I can't believe oh, the ball. It doesn't matter. I don't dance. <laughs> I might show up for the food, though. Oh, Leone. You should, uh, learn to cut a rug. Just for tonight. Not that it's got anything to do with me. But have you picked someone to represent us for the White Heron Cup yet? Well, someone's bound to want to do it. I'm sure we've got a few people with the talent to win, too. I think we do. I think we've gobbled up quite a bit of the dancing talent in this school. All right, Lorenz, I bet you want to do it. <laughs> ah, the long-awaited these skills were... From what I hear, the White Heron Cup will be held just prior to the ball. Yes. Say no more, Professor. I would consider it an honor <laughs> to represent our class. I knew it. No. By all means, take your time and think it over. But I do assure you, there is no candidate better suited to the task than you. I truly. think I have one in mind. What about you, Lysithia? Do you dance? It's true that Tomas was employed, but that's all. Even when he was, I'm still feel right. It's the dance this month, isn't it? Can't see how anyone would be much in the mood for dancing, considering. Oh, let's take their mind off of it, Lysithia. Although I suppose the White Heron Cup does sound. Oh, I'm glad fun. you're looking forward to it then. Ah, uh, no. It would probably be more logical to ask someone who likes dancing in the first place, so I certainly understand. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Alrighty. Lorenz, you don't dance, do you? Some scared the ball is coming up and everything. Watching other people dance can be fun. I've heard people talk about the White Heron Cup. I think a noble would make for a better choice. Found another way around a ball. Yeah, I agree. Not really. Since I'm going to be talking to, uh, since Dorothy is 
Not a noble. It's almost time for the ball. Oh my, am I excited? This being a school with oh, but first the I white. But you would enjoy dancing. Cup. Who will appear on stage? I wonder. You want to do it, don't you? You're choosing the representative for the dance contest, isn't that right? Choose me. I'm a pro. Really now? I would if I didn't have Dorothea. Oh, I was really getting excited. Don't do that it. to me. Let me know if you change your mind, huh? Damn it! I don't know. I have like at least two or three people who really want it. I don't know who would probably be good at it too. Uh. Someone entered the old with that whole tamak. Considering this, re and then there's the white heron cup. Sheesh. What poor sap are you enlisting to represent our house, Teach? Uh, not you. You're a smart one, Teach. I think Hilda or Lawrence would be able to win it for us, no problem. So you think Hilda could do it, huh? Yeah, probably. But, on the other hand, it, Dorothea is literally a professional dance, uh, singer and dancer. Contest as well? I see. I'll cheer for our class, of course. Of course, Marianne. So, um, who will represent our Don't house worry. In the contest? Don't worry. It won't be you. I'm sure whoever represents our class will do a fine job. Much better than I could do. I mean, it's just a little practice. I'm sure you could be a fine dancer if you wanted. Hey! Oh, I bet, you know, I bet Flane really wants to do it. Yet about the white yes, I have. If you have yet to choose a representative, do you mind terribly if I volunteer? Oh? You really want to do it? Understood. Oh well. Either way, I am still so excited about the ball. Oh, damn it. I Three choices. I could not possibly make that decision. What's this about the ball? Knights don't participate. It's an event for students, but... It does pique the interest of some knights in particular. Alois can't <laughs> dance, but I hear he likes oh, to watch. Oh, poor Alois. He volunteered to judge the White Heron Cup. Not that I care. Yeah, do I hear it? Just a tint of, uh, a tinge of jealousy? Shamir? Do I? Probably not. Alright, now I gotta make an impossible decision. Alois, or no, not Alois, uh... Flane, Hilda, or uh, Dorothea. <laughs> I mean, part of me thinks it would make the most sense to pick uh, Hilda since nope. she's an original member of this house. Part of me thinks Flane really wants to do it, and I would hate to break her heart. And then the other part of me thinks Trothia makes the most sense. We're gonna choose the diva. It's a big dance contest between the classes, and I simply I think my heart just skipped a beat. You want me to represent the yes. class? Yes. I'm not sure when I last experienced such flattery, Professor. Oh. You can give them one dance lesson. Do so, and their charm will increase. Excellent. Here to help me practice for the dance contest? Of course, of course. Yes. I'll get you. <laughs> A little twirly twirly. A lot of people practicing. I guess I should probably end this. I think it'll go on forever. By five. Nice. Was my dancing everything you hoped for and more? Yes. I certainly enjoyed it. We simply must do it again. Soon. Of course. I do wish I could see Flane as well. But it's okay. Maybe someday. Alright, let's eat with uh, Bernie and Dorothea. Yeah. 
Yummy, yummy. Ooh, this is my favorite. You've got great taste. Thank you, Bernie. I think I like this, but it's been a while, so I'm not. Wonderful. That'll give me a little more room for uh, seminars this month. Now it's time to do a little more training. Cup. In that case, a word of advice. Yes. On an average year, the winning contestant has about this much charm. Thirteen, huh? Charm is important, wouldn't you agree? Who wants a partner? Of course. Charm? Of course. Not me. Do your best. Make sure. To of course, of course. I'll double check what Dorothea's is. Ooh, you can train me in sword, huh? Yeah, sure. Yeah, Dorothy has more than enough charm. I mean, she's a diva. What were we expecting? Alright, I got uh, just one more event. One more time to use. And I'm in here, my last choice for uh, faculty Gary training. Mark Monastery is said to have been completed. Why? Every it's a once. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll do reason. As much as I'd like to train my uh, sword more. Alrighty. Yep, today, time to end today's free time. <laughs>